Big game breakdown. Good series continues. Nationals and the Yankees. Yankees at home, $1.90, 9.5 the total under minus 120. Sonny Gray against Fetty. He's a replacement starter with Strasburg and Hellickson on the DL now. Early money for the dog and under. And the Nationals struggling to hit. They've been shut out back-to-back games. Harper left with an injury. They did get Murphy back finally, although he went 0 for 4. So they're scuffling right now. And you saw it as CeCe shut him down. He pitched well, and then the bullpen took over. Yeah, I, I mean, the you know, story for last night for Washington was Bryce Harper. Harper got on base four times. Two of them were via hit-by-pitch. Uh, and, they were, you know, he had to leave the game after the second one. Hit by Sabathia, then hit by Batances after that. Uh, hit his big toe. There were some concerns that he might miss today's game. The quotes following the game said, Harper, I'm fine. Just a little nicked up. I should be good to go for tomorrow. So Washington is expected to have their biggest bet into the lineup. But you're right about that Nats lineup being called. You know, they get Daniel Murphy back. And Daniel Murphy is a huge bet for that team. Don't underestimate <laughs> how much he means to the Nationals when he gets going. Last night, 0 for 4 with two strikeouts in his season debut. He missed the first 63 games of the season coming off right knee surgery. But you are right about that Nats offense. They get Murphy back. Harper, you know, a little bit banged up. What is it? Uh, 12? Con- uh, sorry. This is, they've been shut out now back-to-back games. That's only the 12th time that's happened since moving yeah. from Montreal back in 2005. 19 innings the Nats haven't played at a run. But maybe they have a chance today against Sonny Gray, who coming off a really good road trip, Paulie. But Sonny Gray is certainly a guy who has had more than his fair share of struggles, A, pitching in big games, and B, uh, <laughs> pitching in this venue. Well, he's been a disappointment, no doubt about it. Major disappointment since they acquired him in the trade. Uh, He's up and down, and uh, you see where he pitches against good teams. How about this? Against teams with losing records, he's 3-0 with a 1-8-0. But against teams with a winning record, he's 1-4 with a 7-6-1 in five outings. He made two starts for the A's against the Nats. He allowed six runs on 10 hits in 14 innings. He's, you don't know what you're going to get out of this guy, but certainly those numbers cause for concern when he's going against a, a good team. But it's also, it's hard, you know, when you're looking at the Nationals, if you want to back the Nats, it's a dynamite Yankees offense. And Didi had a couple of bombs. And if you see if Fetty can slow him down as well, I don't like how the Nats are playing. But you don't know what you're going to get out of Sonny Gray as well. So uh, with Sanchino and Stanton and Judge and Gregorius, Yankees are top five in ROI. They're killing it right now. Sure. And, of course, you know, Gray coming off a great road trip. He had two starts. I think he pitched 14 innings. He gave up a combined one run. But he has not pitched well in the Bronx. And we talk about the Nationals pitching right here with Fetty. He's a first, former first-round Jeff choice out of Nevada, Reno. Uh, our friends to the north uh, injured. He had Tommy John surgery, came back in the second half of 2015, worked his way up in 16 and 17. He's a middle-of-the-rotation guy at, uh, at the upside. He's not a front-of-the-rotation guy. His fastball in the low 90s. He's got a solid secondary arsenal, and, and supposedly his command and control are pretty good. Heavy ground ball generator, but he does get lit up on days where the fastball location is off. And, you know, we've seen that. Four career starts for the Nats, 0-2 with an 8.14 oh. ERA. We'll get back to this game when it comes to play of the daytime. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the games.